Or I would like to say some things, and that would be great. And that is that I've had the opportunity to work with Supervisor Carver Hall on our Kuyama project, 40 megawatts of clean energy, and to see that how much he cares about the little town of Kuyama, which to me was reflective of his overall values. Kuyama's got what, 2,000 people maybe, or something like that? But he was always there at the time to make sure that whatever we did in constructing a project for the future, because we're only starting to begin constructing it, was, was always with the community at mind. And these are not big, big people community. These are little people community. And I think it was reflective of your values, of how you care about everybody, and seeing you in action out there has always been so heartwarming and important. And I think that when I consider the fact that he can go to Washington and him being in Congress and me being in Sacramento, Mommy. what we can do for this entire district is really powerful. So thank you thank so you. much. It's always great to see somebody on the other side in the private sector having the values to reciprocate for a small community like the other. So thank you, John. Um, you know, you saw a good number of the people that are on our Democratic ticket. Are we not blessed to have great people running for office? Yeah. <laughs> so I want to recognize all of you for stepping up and taking time from your busy day to come here today. It's such a beautiful day. You could have been home. You could have been enjoying this great weather and forget about politics. But you know what's at stake, and that's what brought you here. I want to recognize UDW for being here. Many of their members are here. I want to recognize all the young people from Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo, and our high schools that are here today as well. You know, this is an election that's not about special interest. It's about values-based interest what we stand for as Democrats. We stand for working people, making sure that everybody has an opportunity to pull themselves out. Not for the 1%, everyone. Uh, we represent a party that's inclusive, where we open up our tent and welcome everyone. Let me just share with you what's at stake today. What's at stake for this election coming are many important issues that we all care about. How many of you care about Social Security and Medicare? Yeah. Making sure that Social Security is solvent and that it continues the way it is. And that we protect those who enjoy the benefits of a benefit that they worked hard for. Not an entitlement, so a benefit that they worked hard for. How many of you care about women's reproductive rights? Yeah. 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 Seen in Congress in recent years, every year there's a struggle and a fight in Congress about women's reproductive rights. That is ridiculous. That has to stop. And it won't stop until we elect a propensity of individuals who believe in women's health care and reproductive rights. And that's why, that's what's at stake today. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mentioned UDW, and in California we're blessed. Uh, the minimum wage has just been raised, but throughout the country, it's seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Seven dollars and twenty-five cents. We go get a latte and a, maybe a donut, and that's it. That's what it takes for yeah. somebody. That's the amount somebody has to work an entire hour just for that, and that's not very much. No. We're the party who wants to bring people up and give economic opportunity for everyone. That's what's at stake this election. How many of you believe that climate change is one of the most important issues of our time? Yeah. 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 How many of you believe in the science that says we have to work aggressively to address this issue before it overcomes us? That's what's at stake. We've seen the gun violence throughout our country, day in and day out. If you care about sensible gun laws, that's what's at stake this election. How many of you care about sensible gun laws? You know, I reflect on, on my own background. I immigrated to this country when I was five with my family. My father was a farm worker. And we lived in the projects. And despite that, I was able to do well in school. And this country and this central coast has given me an inordinate amount of opportunities. And to think that an immigrant kid 
can now run for Congress of the United States just reminds us of the values of this great democracy that we live in and the great country that we live in. But I want everybody on the Central Coast to have the same opportunities I've been here so that they and their families can live up to their potential and prosper like we want every American to do, to live up to that American dream, to have access to that American dream. And that's why I'm running for Congress. And with your support, the entire ticket from the first woman president of the United States. <laughs> Cheryl Conway running for the fire district. Where is Cheryl? Let me tell you, as Democrats, we consistently get outspent. We anticipate that that's going to happen again. We have a 3% advantage in this district for the congressional race. But I will tell you, the entire ticket is in danger. Uh, this, is, this should be the best year ever because of who's running for the Republican presidential ticket, right? Yeah. It should be. But isn't it mind-boggling that he's gotten so much momentum? Yes. yes. So we can't afford to rest on our laurels. We need all of you that have stepped up, that came out today, to continue helping and supporting our candidacies. Um, at the end of the day, that's what does it for us as Democrats. Yep. We don't raise all the money, but we have all of you. And you're the ones who make the difference. So on behalf of all the candidates that spoke today, on behalf of my candidacy, I want to thank you for stepping up. And let's work together so we can have a victory comes November 8th. Thank you. Woo! Erica, before I, everybody who's working on our campaign, raise your hand who's a staff member. There's Jimmy, Erica, Max, Rico, and of course, all the interns that are here. Thank you so much for your time.